Hey guys, I hope you're doing good. So I'm just making this quick video so that I can help you understand how the client experience looks like on the client portal once you share a job stage with them. Now I am currently on the jobs page and as you can see for the customer success role, there are two candidates. One is in the company submission stage and one is the client interview stage. Now uh, I'll just quickly show you how you can share a stage with the contacts. So for this, you just need to click on this three dots, click on edit. Once you do this, you just need to make sure that you have entered the contact details right here with the company name. Now, once that is done, you need to come to the interview plan stage and you need to click on the three dots for the stage, which you have to share with the contacts. Once you do that, you'll get an option to share with contacts. You can click on this particular option and this particular stage will be shared with the contacts and you can also see there will be an icon which will show you which stage stages have been shared with the contacts i'll quickly share this con uh, stage as well once i do this now if you want you can also unshare uh the stage from the uh if you don't want to share this particular stage with the contacts you can just click on unshare with contacts and it will be removed from the client portal as well now uh, I'll just go on the client portal side and I'll show you how it looks like on their end. Now I have logged into this account with uh, the client portal and as you can see, I can see there are two candidates in this particular stage and I can see a job that is shared with the contact. Now I'll just open the profile and I'll show you what details is visible to the contact. Now a contact can only view notes if they have been tagged in them. Also they can see the scorecards, if there are any files and any activities. Not only that, there are certain uh, custom fields that uh, you can share with the contacts. Now if you don't want to share this particular custom field with the contact, you can just go to the user in the internal. I'll just switch over to the internal user. You can click on settings. Once you do that, you need to come to the custom fields section, which is right here. And I need to click on the edit icon right here. So in the roles with view and edit permission, I just need to remove the contact and click on save. Once I do this, I'll refresh this particular page and you will see that the contact will not have uh, the option to edit this particular custom field. Also, uh, now if in case a candidate has been added to more than one job in this particular case, now uh, if this particular, particular candidate has been added to more than one job, the contact will not be able to see this. They will be only able to see for the stage and the job for which they are, they have been added to. Now uh, uh, that's about it, guys. If there's any other questions that you have, you can always click on this particular icon and reach out to us, and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you.